I feel like it's a pretty special Valentine's weekend for a single person. And I'll tell you one thing I love. Most of you may know this, but I love V-twin motorcycles. Harleys, Japanese bikes, all of them. I like V-twin motorcycles. And I actually just for the first time forever bought an inline four because all of my motorcycles are V-twins. But today is a special day because one of my favorite V-twins is the Honda RC51. And so why today's special and kind of a nice little Valentine's treat for myself is I got a customer's RC51. Love these things. But look what just, uh, I just got running and I got it here at the shop. And I want to show you what is at the home of How to Wrench. Check it out. I'll just show you I'm lying. V-twin. V-twin. Ducati V-twin in the back there. Another V-twin, another V-twin, V-twin. Remember those days? Check this out. Another V-twin. But the V-Twin. Does anybody remember me building this motorcycle? Hope I don't get choked up on this with students at Western Iowa Tech in that technician program I taught for uh, 15 years there. But this was the bike night uh, project for three years. And a buddy of mine saw it go up on the auction block when this school closed and bought it for me and gave me first chance to purchase it. He knew that I was quite in love with this thing. So special shout out to Clay Jensen how for life it really hooked me up man uh, and then if you hadn't seen the project there's a whole folder on my photos on, on Facebook here where I show the bike being built with the students we just had a blast with it but I mean they did all the work the only thing I did because it was last minute is Frenched in that headlight and I had never done that before so I just wanted to challenge myself I'm not an auto body person the only thing I did on this uh, vehicle other than that auto body was put a dent in it when he picked it up from the auto body shop at the college there i was swinging around to grab the door and students were on their phone not paying attention and my dumb ass dinged it against the wall so we had a band-aid on that for quite a while but we built this bike as a 50th anniversary project uh for the college uh way cool celebration to unveil it um the thing was really cool so the students Themselves had all the you know the sale, the design, and, and everything we did. They did stuff I didn't want to do, and I talked them into stuff that uh, they found out to be pretty cool. But pretty cool. It's pretty loaded up from the Harris exhaust. Olin's got Olin's internals in the front. Uh, the Olin stuff was from uh, now LK2 suspension. My buddy Rob Oliva, he was uh, a drag parts rep at the time and actually really helped us extend our budget between him and uh, uh, Clyde Jensen at Sioux City Power Sports. We really were able to use those, those discounts. Nothing was free, you know, and don't expect it to be, but they definitely stretched our budget to build a really cool machine for these students. I mean, it's just super loaded from braided lines, power commander, wideband O2 sensors. The students even learned how to weld in bungs. And then we have the power commander dash where you can flip maps, you know, from the cool hoses, clip-ons, uh, Continental tires. Continental tires is going to be a big announcement here in the, in the near future. Uh, how to wrench is just build a relationship with those fellas. I mean, it's just, just so much cool stuff looking at this. But I can't wait. I want to fire it up and get it running so you can uh, you can enjoy that too. I love this motorcycle. Uh, just especially want to give a big shout out to uh, to the fellas that stuck all the way through it. But these three right here, Art, uh, Chris, and uh, um, Connor, were like relentlessly there throughout throughout their time. So like says so three years, and. Uh, I only had them for a year. They went on for a second year, and even in the second year, they came back and really dug in and, and helped uh, helped build this bike. So I'm gonna go through, make it cooler yet.
tighten some stuff up. I uh, also got a race body with it. Think about actually doing what we wanted to do with it, and that's get it on the track. So comment below. What do you think? Cool build? Cool ride? We sure think so. Thanks for everybody that was part of my life at, in all of these great stories and great times. So just wanted to share that with you. That happy Valentine's Day to me with the RC51s in the shop. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Make it a great day. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and keep wrenching.